Nylight was kind enough to reach out and message me and send me some lights for my truck and I'm gonna be installing them on my 2023 Chevy Silverado. They are going to be reverse lights. What I noticed with my Chevy, the driveway at night was super dark and I couldn't see anything. I went to LED bulbs, it still wasn't great, especially when it's raining. So I got these lights and I'll show you guys, I'm gonna be mounting them to my hitch in the rear. Okay, so here's the box, LED work lights. First thing we got, I believe is the plate in here that goes to your tow hitch. So I like the idea of not drilling or anything into my truck. So this will go right onto my tow hitch that's already there on my Chevy. Comes with your Allen key, some instructions in that box and then more. You got your actual lights, which do look really good. We'll set all this aside, other light here. And then they did send me a harness as well. And then you got the hardware for the lights. Great packaging, looks like good quality stuff. All right guys, so I'm just gonna show you how to put these lights together. Now we got a bunch of hardware in here because these come with like stands essentially, right? So you're just gonna go, they go inside like that and then you just screw them through the side. You drop your nut in the slot like that, kind of wiggle a little bit. And then it becomes like its own little wrench in there. You see it there? So I slip this through, line it up with that, line it up with the nut. There we go. Nice and easy. And then we go to this side, exact same thing. Drop the nut in there, straight through and tighten. So you don't have to hold the nut. That's the kind of the whole point of this idea here. So tighten them a little bit and then you can still move this guy, nice. So that's one, go ahead and do it to both. We're outside, it's a nice day in BC as you can see. We're gonna go ahead and throw this on right now. What I noticed, I did mock fit this up. You're gonna have to make sure your pin can go in beside this piece here. So let's just unscrew this guy. We did run into a problem here because of my truck. You won't all have this problem. If you have the same truck, you might. Now here's the thing, I like to go off-roading and I've been off-roading for a long time and I do have some experience with these long trucks, you're always gonna bottom out the rear end. What I'm getting at here is that if I put my thing like this, right, up there, bottom here, right, fits well, nice fit, problem, exhibit A. They will fit, but so tight that this vibration would scratch it, but also I can't aim them. So what I'm gonna do is Put a little plate. Now you can do this guys, 100%. You can flip this thing around and mount them this way. But now this is the lowest point of my vehicle and this is gonna be the first thing to hit the ground. I would rather it be this strong metal here. So I wanna keep these lights safe. So we're gonna end up mounting them up top. A little extension is all that's needed to be able to point them out like that. Again, Chevy's got a, a super tight back here. So you just gotta slide your guy like that. nice and strong tightened up now we'll make a little plate a scrap metal guys super easy grinder cut two pieces and we're gonna drill two holes And we're gonna be using these bolts. So I got two for the lights and then these two are gonna go for the mounts. They're all the same, which is nice. Gotta find one more washer. Tabs are nice and pristine, as you can see, look at that, pristine. Let's throw it all together, then we'll do the wiring. So now, for the worst part about this job is the wiring. So I don't wanna use the harness Nylite sent me. Now, for me, I'm gonna wire these into my reverse lights because I did the same thing on my RAM and it was perfect. I did also on the RAM wire these to the front. It's a huge pain in the butt. You gotta run it through the frame. You gotta find a way into the cab. You have to press it on and off. Now, if you want that option, you can run it to the front. If you don't, we're gonna just splice into my reverse wires. It's super simple. I've done it before. 
And it, it actually is simpler than running the harness in my opinion. From the research I've done, you don't wanna go to the trailer wiring harness on these vehicles because apparently they shut off after about 10 seconds. I'm not sure why, I don't know anything about it. I'm not a wiring guy, but that's just what I've been seeing over and over. The new vehicles, 2023 this is, don't go to the trailer hitch wiring, just go to the tail light wiring. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna take out my tail light to see which light we need to go to for the reverse that we can splice into. And then I also have to find a ground spot. We'll have to go to a wire diagram to see which one's which. I'm assuming green's power, but you don't want to assume in these situations. We've got a little bit of room here to splice. All right, guys, so I got a red wire cable here and I have a little splice red connector. So we're gonna put our new wire into the one with the butt end, so the far end here. And then we will put this on our light green wire here. We'll splice into the power. We'll run this down to where our lights are. This guy in first. There we go. As you can see, it's around it. And then our wire in this side. Okay. Just like so. So that's all the way pushed up. And that is in its channel. And now we will just take our pliers here and in. There we go. They're crimped in on both. There we go. So this should have power. So while I got the wires out, just snipped the ends off because they have solder on them. I'm not going to be using solders. I never have, and it's always been okay. So I'm just going to be doing this i'll show you guys here so i'm just gonna give me some wire okay and then we'll get the wire from this one now you could go for a, a splice or you can go for a double crimp so we just wrap these up around each other you can see we got two wires just tangle them up like that so it becomes one so I'm gonna be using a blue crimp. I'm just gonna crimp these. These are a nice connection here. I can see them tangled. And then I slide my crimp on. And voila. Just like that, we got a good connection to our red wire. So we'll do the same. We're gonna tie them together. We're gonna to snip off the solder together forever. Twist these first. Twist, 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 wrap it around. Do that a few times. There we go, that becomes one. You should be able to leave it and it'll stay together. Another blue here. It's an old one. You can see it wrapped around, looks pretty good. And we'll throw that in there. And there you go. Pull on it, make sure they're good. Those are beauty. So red's already in. We're just gonna route it down, put it boom, we got power. Then I'm just gonna run a ground, a piece of black wire off here. The red wire running down from the tail light here. There you go. So now it's running right next to the actual factory wire. We've got way too much, so maybe we'll just guess we'll snip this right about. There you go. So that's a lot of excess going over there. Yeah, we run this here. Right here, we just zap her. That's freaking min. Which let's figure out where we want to go with this ground. Right in between there. What is that? Torques. Let's see if we can go. All right, so we got a T40 here, which I believe will be our guy. Yeah. The extra black wire. So while this is out, we shall. Crimp her in with the rest. Okay, we got it crimped to here. So let's go ahead, see if this works. If not, we'll have to clean it up. Let's give it a try. Okay, that's nice and tight. The red is basically gonna be what it'll be now. So we can just go ahead and connect it. Let's tidy all the wiring up, get it all hung out of the way.
ground to our bumper guy here. Ground runs up, meets that. Super clean wiring here. Got it all buttoned up. I used sticky things on the back here. Cleaned it off, stuck those to it. Electrical taped all those. Then these run up. This is just excess for the ground. It just goes up there and then loops back down. And then the red just runs up to your taillight. The wiring is not bad at all. Make sure you um, tape them up or use heat shrink. Let's take a look finally at how these turned out. Let's go. It worked. Look, dude, those are freaking bright. I can't look at them. Oh my, we did it guys. So this is the nice thing. You hit the fob, it'll stay on like this. So if you need light at night, you just unlock your truck and you get these beams. And then other, it's connected to the reverse lights. So if you're reversing, they come on. So I just wanted to show you guys a quick before and after here. So this is before at the farm and there's no light here at all. And there's nothing after you can see how bright these lights are and it really is easy to see in reverse now guys i could not be happier with how these turned out it's not too bad of an install easier i know i did some fab work but realistically you don't have to do the fab work but for this truck it made more sense for me overall guys it was great thank you so much to nylite for sending me these lights and sending me that hitch mount huge thank you that was great and it works perfectly for what i need make sure you guys check out nylite and check out their products they're kind of all over amazon I always do the research before I look. So I went to look for Nylite there. They got a, a lot of sales on Amazon. So trusted company. They were great to work with. Also, these mounts are from Nylite. They just clip, they like latch onto your hood. So you don't have to drill or anything. So those are Nylite as well. So I bought those off Amazon. And yeah, it's been great. They work perfectly. So now I got good lights up front. And then we got also the Nylite's rear setup. So super happy with it. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you got any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Let me know what you guys think of the lights. Do you guys have Nylite lights? Do you have a 2023 Chevy and you're doing the same thing? Let me know what you guys are up to. And if you liked the video, please leave a like. If you like the Chevy, more content coming. So make sure you subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.